Okay, go to ubuntu.com Download Ubuntu Server Option 2 Manual Server Installation and download as you can see this is the installer Ubuntu 22.04 server AMD 6.4 ISO image Oracle VirtualBox and uh, new name Ubuntu server twenty two zero four uh, number one. The path I will use the default path uh, Linux Ubuntu 64 bits very nice. Next, you can use more RAM according your requirements, but in this case I will use one gigabyte or 1,024 megabytes. Next, create a virtual hard disk now. Create BDI the type next a fixed size hard disk file may take longer to create on some systems but is often faster to use so use fixed size i recommend next and the the size of the virtual hard disk you can use any any according your requirements I will use 20. Great. Okay, very good. Now you can see at the end of the list Ubuntu Server 22041. Right click and settings. Okay, go to uh, system. Uh, you can modify the RAM on processors. You can add one more uh, processor. I will use two uh, CPUs and uh, go to storage. This is the empty drive. You need to insert the ISO image here. Choose create a virtu virtual optical hard disk. Add choose uh, 2204 live server. Okay. And this is select and choose. Now uh, is inserted and, and go to uh, network. You can use NAT, but this is a virtual uh, is a virtual network. So you can use a bridget adapter. Okay, use bridget adapter to connect the virtual machine to the real network and choose the physical interface in my case is this uh, gigabit interface and on advanced be sure cable is connected and, and go to usb support uh, 3.0 and okay and right click and start normal start
Okay, and select your language. I will use English and enter. Select the keyboard layout. And you can press space and search uh, the keyboard. Okay, and I will use this. Enter and done. Okay, done. Enter. Okay, um, the base for the installation. Okay, the first option contains set of packages. Okay, and done. Enter. Okay, this is the uh, I, the network configuration. You receive it on um, IP from the DHCP server 181.68.1.31, in my case, may vary. And this is okay. Okay, uh, go to the interface EMP0S3, the Ethernet interface space. And go to edit IPv6, enter. And IPv6 is disabled, space, and use automatic, enter, and save. Wait a moment. And now you got the IPv4 configuration and IPv6 configuration. So you can remember these IP addresses for uh, remote access using SSH. And also, uh, these IP addresses may vary. After the installation, you can uh, set the uh, static IPv4 address and set a uh, static IPv6 address. So later, you can modify this. Don't, no proxy, leap this blank, don't, mirror is okay, don't. This is the storage configuration, you can use the first option, but I will use the second option for a customized configuration, a space here on the second option. Custom storage layout space and done. Okay, and this is the virtual hard disk, uh, 20 gigabytes. Select the free space and press the space key and select add GPD partition, enter. And I will use uh, I will use one gigabyte for the swap. Okay, and on format space and swap, enter, create. Okay, this is the swap. Now select again the free space, uh, space key, add GPT partition, enter. And please do not specify the size because I will use the maximum size and format ext4 and the root very nice great now you have now uh, you have the root the swap also and the, the grab one megabyte and the swap one gigabyte and the root about 19 gigabytes and done and are you are you sure you want to continue and continue enter enter your full name the name of the server
the username, password, again, done. And I recommend install OpenSSH server for remote access, remote administration. So you need to remember your IP address, IPv4 or IPv6 space. Okay, select and uh, done. And continue. And these are popular snaps in server environments. So don't worry, later you can add or install these uh, packages. So done. and cancel update and reboot select this cancel update and reboot enter okay press enter to remove the virtual uh, cd room enter okay press enter login and the username the password enter now you can verify your IP address, IP space address. Oh, you can see the interface number one is a loopback, number two EMP0S3, the Ethernet interface, IPv4 1.8.168.1.31, IPv6 address. So you can ping uh, google.com using uh, uh, enter okay it's using ipv6 as you can see Control c to uh, stop this process and to test ipv4 use ping 4 enter now it's using ipv4 address Control c and uh, test the ssh connections from any device on your local area network from any device on your lan you can use, uh, for example, PuDi for SSH access. Remember the IP address of the server. Open. Yes. The username, password. Okay, very good.